All right, everybody, everybody. This is the I Am You first episode, okay? We have a special guest on today for the I Am You special episode, okay? I want y'all all to give it up for Black the Street Second War representative. Yo, it's Birdie the Sergeant. All right. Everybody clap it up. Birdie the Sergeant, second floor representative from Flagler Street. I am here. Stop playing. I really do that. Why you always, you always, I told you I'm working. I'm trying to work, man. Go ahead, trip it. I'm trying to work. I'm, I'm hanging up on you, dumbass. <laughs> what up, man? My fault, man. Hey, mom. <laughs> Try to tell him I'm hey, working, man. man. I heard that, yeah, man. Working. What's up? All right. Welcome to the show, man. Tell me, man, what? We're going to jump right into it, all right? We ain't going to hold nothing back. We're going to jump right yeah. into it. When you say that line, when you say that bar, what does that mean to you? You know, what does, tell the people what that means to you, you know? Yeah, Flagler Street, man. All right. So I'm from a town called Marstown. I was born and raised on Flagler okay. Street. That's where I was born and raised. All right. Okay. So now, you're born and born. Okay. And you're from Marstown. Everybody know everybody. Right. I hear everybody. Yeah, everybody. So to me, Flagler Street, Marstown, everybody's family to me. You know what I'm saying? And I always held it like that. You know. So, you know, I'm, I'm from Flagler Street. You know, building right across the street from the neighborhood house. That's where I'm from. And to me, Flagler Street means the world to me. You know, that's what inspires me, that's what drives me to do what I'm trying to do. And that's really seeing everybody that come from where I come from get rich. Yes, sir. All right, so we got that down. Okay, so we got uh -huh. that down. Once again, people, we are not holding back. Welcome to the I Am You yeah. first episode. All right, we have a very sergeant here. You know, we have a very sergeant here. Now, no holes bars, okay? Let's talk about it, okay? Tie dye bandanas, as you say, tie dye you down. You always walk around with tie dye bandanas. Nigga see you around with this dirty ass tie dye bandana. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> around your neck. Like, 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 why this nigga talking about this dude? Like, why are you always okay. doing this? Like, dude. All right, so let me tell you something. So, when it comes to the tie dye bandanas, you know, I really thought it was because, like, once again, okay. bringing it back to yeah. Mars, bringing it back to Black where I'm from, you know. Right. There was a lot of things that was going on and people was picking sides, people was picking sides, and I always okay. just wish it was just a family, that how the family ties came in, okay. like the family and right. just tie them together. So, you, so okay. really, I thought tie like bandanas, you put all the colors mixed together, we all come together, we all as in one, we can all get it together. So to me, this is really just based on how I felt about where I come from and what I really want to happen, that's where everybody to come together. And if you tie in the family ties camp, that just means Everybody that's loyal to me. Sorry, hold on. Baby, I'm tripping. She called me. She called me. My fuck, dog. She don't believe I'm over here. I'm trying to work. <laughs> but that means that everybody that come in together, you know, with the family ties camp, that means everybody that knows me must be some type of family. We're going to tie it together and we a camp, man. We're going to be an army behind this. You know, so that's why everything I have is loyalty, love, peace, you know, all those things come from. Free. And that's why I, 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 you know, this is where I come from. This is what I believe. So I know you've been doing your thing. You know, you've been trying to, you know, uh -huh. see each other go hard. Doing, you know, what I'm saying, you put a little <laughs> each effort to it right now. Like, Man, dog, what was it like? Was it something that you was involved with, like in the streets or something? I don't know. Like, what was it that changed you around to make you want to change and just, you know, go? How hard you want to go at this point in time? Like some crazy moments, man. I used to. Okay. Oh wait, before we go any further, all right. I know you're cracking right, jokes yeah. about why this dirty one. Okay. <laughs> this was actually the first one I made, and I haven't washed it since. <laughs> no. Nah, all right. right. This is the first one I made, so that's why I uh, might look a little bad. But man, that's a bad. You know, it means something to me. <laughs> it means something to me. Okay. Your girl is probably wearing this one. Maybe. Anyway. Yeah, man. So, crazy story, man. When I was, like, really trying to, you know, <laughs> you know, I used to go to, like, swimming pool parties, man. And I used to just, you know, because you got to be clothing. I was just like, it's either going to be one or two spots. I used to go 
And I used to give it up. I used to rob people. I used to rob people weed. The crazy thing is, you know, it's been a minute, so we got one on footage. We got one on footage. I actually brought the footage. I don't mean to tell, but we got the footage. <laughs> go to, yeah, go to the footage. Go to the footage. You see how I used to give it up. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, we got a victim, nigga. Run that. Run that. Nigga, run that. <laughs> My, my gun don't squirt. My gun don't squirt. My gun don't squirt. Get him. <laughs> Let me get that bandana. Get that boy. <laughs> Special guest Brady decided we're going to definitely bring back part two. All right? But we out of here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Scissors, cut it out, uh -huh. cut it off. You know what time it is, man. Part two coming up next. <laughs> we out.